The OpenAI vision model is a powerful tool that goes beyond simple optical character recognition. It can extract a wealth of information from images, such as identifying and locating objects within the scenery. For example, you can use it to categorize the objects in your image, give a description of what those objects are and what may be going on in the image, answer some specific questions about the image, perform sentiment analysis, i.e. what are the emotions displayed by the people in the image, and identify relationships between the objects. In this video, we are going to teach you how to set up and extract information from images using the OpenAI Vision API service. Later, we will show you the accuracy of the output, so please stick around. OpenAI models can do much more than just extract text from images. You can also extract other information about an image by asking questions about it, such as what is in the image, are the people happy, and much more. The results you get depend on what questions you ask and how you ask the question. You can even combine text extraction and image content questions in the same API call. For example, you are asking users to upload an image of a document for a specific purpose, such as proof of address or age. When the image is uploaded, you can ask OpenAI Vision of what is displayed in the image, what text is included, or what type of document it is. The model will verify if the uploaded document is appropriate and contains the necessary information. Other examples include extracting data from forms and tables in invoices or receipts, converting handwritten notes, and handling multiple languages in one image. You can send images to the API either by passing a web link or by encoding the image directly in the request. We will be using the local image option in this demo. For image recognition and classification, OpenAI Vision uses LLM technology to interpret what it sees in the image you uploaded. We have a previous video showing you how to set up an OpenAI account and then how to create an API key to access the account from an external application or web page. Watch that video first if you don't have an account. Link in the description below. You will need your own API key to run this code yourself. In this demo, we will cover the basics on how to connect to OpenAI Vision for API communication, how to prepare and send your image to OpenAI API, and details on the output from the API. There are a few prerequisites you will need in order to run this code. We will explain these in detail in the video. We use Python and Jupyter Notebooks and VS Code to demonstrate this. For more details on how to set this up, see our previous video on this topic. Link in the description below. First, we need to set up the Python environment with the necessary packages. We are using Conda to create our environment. Copy and paste these three commands and run them in the terminal. Next, we set up our environment to be available as a kernel environment in a Jupyter Notebook. This is how you can use the kind of environment to run as a kernel in your notebook. We need to import a few packages. The key one here is the OpenAI package. It's an open source library for accessing OpenAI functionality and communicating with the platform. To get started, we need to create a new OpenAI client. For the best security, create an environment variable containing your API key. This is a function that encodes our image to be sent through the API. The image needs to be in Base64 encoding in order for the platform to be able to read it. We use the animals image in our first example. We encode our image and save it in the Base64 underscore image variable. Here we are sending the message using the client chat completions create function, passing in the model name role and content, which includes the question we are asking. We have several different models we can use for this use case. This is the response we got back from the API. Here's a function that will make this output easier to read. The model was able to find most of the animals in the image along with describing the background environment. We'll be providing a link to a GitHub repo with this code and we are including a Python script version of this code to run from the command line, link in the description below. Now we try to run the same method on another image to show the model's versatility. The response mentions several different categories of items, such as sex, clothing, colors, objects, along with plants and scenery. Next, we will show some limitations of this model. We have an image of celebrities and ask what it sees. We expect it to mention the names of the celebrities because they are well known, but it only responds with general information. Next, we ask for your emotional classification, are the people happy or not? It does pretty well here, but doesn't try to guess on the borderline cases where the person is partially smiling. Then we change the prompt to ask how many people are happy. It responds with three people are, but it says there are seven people when there are only six. This appears to be a limitation of the model. 
Finally, we ask how many are men versus women. It should say three versus three, but it still thinks there are seven in total. We have just shown you an example of prompt engineering. This is where we modify the prompt to get better answers using a more specific question. Your results from OpenAI Vision will depend on how good your prompt is, making this an important topic. Well, that's all we have for today. Want to learn more about using AI models for image content and the potential applications? See our previous videos on this topic and stay tuned for future videos where we explore this topic in more detail. Thanks for watching our video. Comments and suggestions are appreciated. See you next time.